All right, final picks. With the first pick in the sixth and final round of the 2021 WWE Draft, Monday Night Raw selects the most beautiful woman in all of WWE, Carmella. There is a God, my prayers have been answered. I don't pitch me because I don't want to wake up. Care. Life is good, Saxton. I've never happy. seen you this happy ever. Beautiful woman in all of WWE is coming to Monday Night Raw, baby. We're partial, And with the second pick in the sixth and final round of the WWE Draft, Friday Night SmackDown selects NXT's Bruising Powerhouse, Ridge Holland. Nice pick up. So you broke. Oh my God. Ridge Holland, this dude is the real. So you literally peaked on a loan? So Pete that has don't have Rich Holland no more. Warren Lurkin and, and Danny Burks nowhere to be found. They might be gone. So Pete Dunn's all alone, like he should. Monday Night Raw selects. Talk about a game changer. NCAA heavyweight champion and Olympic gold medalist Gable Stevenson. He does in college. This is huge. Gable Stevenson, Olympic gold medalist, is coming to Monday nights, guys. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, Gable Stevenson has a lot of potential, but the guy's in college. Why are you trying to give us some time? Give us some time. Just give us some time. And with the final pick of the 2021 WWE Draft, Friday Night SmackDown selects Dakota Kai. The provocateur, the self-proclaimed master strategist, Sammy Zayn. Okay. Sammy Zayn, the conspiracy. He's on the, okay, he's on SmackDown. The master strategist, oh, Saxton. Uh, this was, yeah, this is a wasted draft, draft, draft round. Wasted. I'm not. He has a unique perspective, I'll give him that. Carmella dropped to the Raw, reached on to the SmackDown. Of the WWE draft, That's just a waste of a waste round, bro. I mean, I'm pretty sure management is big on Rich Holland because he's a big guy. He's one of Vincent. He's probably Vincent Man likes him. So that leaves Pete done with nobody. And he's alone. But Moment for that young man right there. Hey, look at Scrap, man. Scrap. I honestly, bro, like, bro, out of every, bro, no NSC, you only pick two NSC people, bro. So only Rich Holland and Zia Lee, who she was not ready for the main roster. She should have stayed in NSC. Io Shirai would have been a better pick. But hey, it is what it is. But really, Carmella to Carmella to Raw. Uh, Rich Holland to SmackDown. Um, who else? I don't even. Yeah, it is Jeff. Yeah, Rich Holland over LA Knight. Yeah, I don't think I don't even think Rich Holland is ready for the main roster. I think. Dakota Kai, um, I would say Dakota Kai, Peak Dunn would have been a better would have been a better pick. So Dakota Kai, Pete Dunn, who else? Kyle O'Reilly, he's, he's green. He's not ready for the main roster. Um, Rod, Roger Strong's not ready for the main roster. I would have, I would have advocated for group. For, for Grizzled Young Veterans to be on the main roster. Another good tag team. You could have added some, some value to the tag team division a little bit. So Grizzled Young Veterans could have been up there. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. Why is EO not getting called up? Because Vincent Man, Vincent Man he looks at his Japanese talent and it straight up kills him. Io e e Shirai is the best women's wrestler on the whole NXT brand. 
I'll take her over Raquel. I'm sorry. Her and Candice. Io and Candice LeRae. And has Gable Stevenson even begun training yet? That's the question. They did live more than dirty, man. Yeah. They but they must be they, they must be WWE must be really high on Gable Stevenson and Rich Holland because they're big guys. Gable Stevenson is an amateur wrestler. And Pete Dunn should be the one to take the NFC championship off of Tommaso Ciampa. And not Rex Steiner. Wait, let me go on Ross App's Twitter. Sean Ross App, man. Shout out to him, man. Gives out great news, man. I'm going to go over the people that, that are undrafted. Okay. Still undrafted. We're going to get into it. Hurt Business. Alexander and Benjamin. Dirty Dogs. Shashi Blackheart and Tiggy Knox. I don't know why you need to cut out their first, their last names. And here comes Bacon Lynch. She's not getting no theme music playing. You did Liv Morgan dirty. Natalia and Tamina. Don't care. Tima Hall. Don't care. Sami Zayn, who just got drafted. Carmella got drafted. You left out the Miz. Miriam. Where is Miriam? Is she coming out with this lip slit with this dark lips lipstick? What the f Miriam? Where's Miriam? Where is she? She's at home with Bearcat. That's the answer. With both of them doing Man, I cannot wait till the contrast expire. Shane Thorne. I don't even know who that is, to be honest. I think he was Slapjack and Retribution or something like that. Jackson Riker, Dana Brooke, Catering. God, WWE fails to create, man. They fail to create stars. They fail to create stars, man. They fail so much. That this 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 was a wasted round of the WWE draft. This was a wasted round. A waste of people's time. I'm sorry, but. If you're going to draft someone from NXT, Dakota Kai, Pete Dunne are the most reasonable call-ups. Because they can actually wrestle. Rich Holland is not ready for the main roster. Zaya Lee is not ready for the main roster. Io Shirai, Dakota Kai, Pete Dunne, LA Knight, Cameron Grimes. Who else? Grizzled Young Veterans. And Frankie Monet. Those would have been the reasonable NST call-ups. And I gave you my NST call-ups in, in one video. I gave you Frankie Monet. I gave you Grizzled Young Veterans. I gave you L.A. Knight. I gave you, um, shoot. I got to go back. I got to go back and watch that video. But I'm pretty sure I have it in my notes. I'm pretty sure I have it in my notes. If I was booking the draft, I would have called up uh, Dakota Kai, LA Knight, Cruiser Young Veterans, Frankie Monet. Uh, I would have brought Amber Moon back to the main roster and re and elevated her. Amber Moon and yeah, those were, those were my call-ups. I would have brought up Pete Dunn. Get him away from Rich Holland. Get, get, I'm sorry. I would have brought up, um, I might would have brought up Cameron Grimes. I think Cameron Grimes needs more time in NXT. And 
and then you treat Kyle O'Reilly so wrong, man. Adam Cole did everything in his power to put his best friend over. I'm sorry. When Kyle's contract goes up, I know where he's going. He's going to go with Bobby Fish and Reed Dragon is getting back together. And then when Roddy's contract expires, he's going over where Adam Cole is. Mount Rushmore is getting back together. Cole, Steve, Young Bucks. And then when Strong comes, they will, he will be added to Mount Rushmore. Because I think he was in Mount Rushmore, if I'm not mistaken. This is what WWE fails to do, man. Wasted draft, pick, wasted draft rounds, wasted draft picks. I don't even get it, man. They And Liv Morgan's on Raw Talk. So she's most likely going to go to Raw. Stay on SmackDown. Keep Liv Morgan on SmackDown. Get her away from Carmella. I'm tired of seeing the rematches. I'm tired of the 50-50 booking. Because that is what we're going to get in the next couple weeks. Once they get, Once the draft settles in, they're going to be fresh for a few weeks. And then after Survivor Series, we're going to go into rematches. Great. Rematches, 50-50 booking, no one's getting over. Pointless segments, a waste of three hours. And SmackDown hasn't been that good, too. Let me get a break before I, before I uh, strain my voice. And you're booking Bianca Belair versus Charlotte Flair. Near the woman can lose, so you got you got to end it in a DQ. And Bianca Baylor is not losing twice in two days. No way. And Charlotte can't lose because she's a champion, and champions can't get pinned on TV. I'm out, man. I'll catch y'all in the main event.